Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Professor Kyulebukhile Mutau. I'm the founder and CEO of Global Health Biotech, which is a spin-off company, which I'll explain a little bit about what the company does. But having said that, I've just joined Nelson Mandela University as a research chair. The name of the chair is FALF Ref. But I'm also going to explain the abbreviation FALF, which stands for Female Academic Leadership Fellowship, and FREF, that stands for First Rent um, Empowerment Foundation, which is the one that have sponsored the chair. And the chair's name is a research chair in entrepreneurship and financial inclusion at Nelson Mandela University. Okay. So you're going to be giving us a talk on entrepreneurship and research commercialization. Before I would ask you to tell us more what you will be sharing with the students. I want us to first touch, why is this topic important for merging uh, researchers? Let's go back to how students have been trained. And let's also go back to why we've got such a high rate of unemployment. And one can ask herself or himself a question, are we not also contributing to high rate of unemployment as a university? The answer can be, Yes, partially, the answer can also be no partially. Personally, I don't expect somebody with a PhD to start looking for a job because when somebody is doing a PhD, we always tell them that it must be innovative. Now, why must you do something that is innovative and wear your beautiful red gown and stay at home? That innovative, you should be doing something about it. That was the reason why I formed the spin-off company, to make sure that I address this unemployment. The, for me, commercialization entrepreneurship is very important and to be, make sure that students are going to create job and job from what they have studied because at the moment job is very scarce and the kind of job that the kind of research that the students are doing can automatically be able to create jobs. But the challenges are when students are trained by the supervisor, of course people might get offended they are trained by people who don't themselves don't understand commercialization and entrepreneurship. Then we start saying the students must do commercialization and entrepreneurship. How are they going to understand them when they were trained by somebody who don't understand? For an example, I'm not an accountant. Just imagine me teaching an accountancy. I mean, hello, how will I know that? It's exactly the same thing. Entrepreneurs sometimes, I don't think universities are taking it seriously the way it should be taken seriously. It should be take, taught by somebody who understands it. So for me, it was one of the reasons that I really don't want to see my innovation collecting dust. Yes, it is very important that I've published the paper, and so what after publishing the paper? Who is supposed to benefit? Society. I mean, society needs to benefit from the kind of research that we do. That was the reason why I spin out, and I've got the company Global Health Biotech. Global Health Biotech is come from my solely R&D. And then who are the shareholders? I had to take my PhD students to give them shares in the company because there's no one who's going to employ them unless there are two ways. Either you become a lecturer if the university absorbs you. So you have to choose which route to take. So most of my, my, my shareholders, yeah, the students that were busy doing the PhD, you saw yesterday one of them was one of the judges, Dr. Mapula Rajunani, scored shares in the company. Uh, for me, it's just to say, to preach or to do what I'm preaching that let's create a spin-off company Let's commercialize our research and to make sure that um, students are not going to look for a job. Okay. The, the sad part is what is happening now. We need to go back to the drawing board and check how students have been trained so that we can really rectify the way students have been trained. What I've started introducing, I've got different kinds of webinars that are monthly webinars that I'm doing it mainly for free to make sure that I started expose students how they can commercialize the research. The sad part, which I can mention it, what we usually do, and we're doing it wrong, we come with this innovative idea, which is good, and then we come with a solution. You solve the solution, you've got a solution, but you never thought of the problem. That becomes a problem. You cannot have a solution and not having a problem. You must first start with the problem and go with the solution. So that is why for me, commercialization research is some of the things that is extremely important. And I can tell you now, with the kind of students that we've got them here, imagine all of them started commercializing their research. We're gonna have a lot of uh, 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 students that can be able to create jobs. And that is one of the things that we need to do. And also, perhaps the way forward, we need to start having the so-called, we've got this next generation and emerging researcher symposium. Perhaps we we have to start looking at then building up 
the next generation and imagine research as supervisor so that we don't end up having the same issues that we are having. The next generation supervisor, we need to change their mind to understand that how are we going to train the students. Thank you.